Well, first thing, uh, it implied that it came from outside the solar system because uh, uh, gravity cannot bind it to the sun. It was moving too fast for that. The official story is that 3i Atlas is just another interstellar object passing through our system. But the thing nobody tells you is that its trajectory is unlike anything ever recorded. This cosmic visitor is on a direct course for a rare celestial event on October 21st, a perfect alignment with the Earth and Sun. This so-called collision path isn't about a physical impact, it's about a chain reaction Today, we are really showing you how we are kind of one step closer to answering humanity's one of their most profound questions, and that is, are we truly alone in the universe? Many people are crazy about watching the skies, but even seasoned astronomers are worried that this alignment could trigger an unprecedented solar event, and our planet is sitting right in the crosshairs. The alien trigger. You see, our solar system is a busy place, a cosmic dance of planets, moons, and asteroids. But every so often, a visitor from outside this system, a true alien object, passes through. These are called interstellar objects, and they are incredibly rare. We've only ever confirmed a handful. The first was the cigar-shaped Oumuamua, an object that baffled scientists by accelerating away from the sun without any visible tail, defying the laws of physics as we know them. Now we have 3i Atlas. At first, it seemed like just another cosmic wanderer, a chunk of rock and ice from a long dead star system millions of miles away. But not all things are what they seem. What many overlooked is the object's bizarre behavior as it approached our sun. Data from several deep space observatories suggests that 3i Atlas experienced a sudden massive outburst of activity. It's almost like it woke up. Comets do this sometimes, but the energy signature from 3i Atlas was, to put it mildly, off the charts. It was a flare of light and gas that was hundreds of times more powerful than expected for an object of its size, estimated to be several miles in diameter. The most shocking fact is that just 52 hours after this interstellar outburst, our own sun unleashed one of the most powerful solar flares of the year. Coincidence? Many inside NASA don't think so. There appears to be a frightening connection, an invisible thread of energy linking this alien rock to our star. This is where the story gets deeply concerning. A solar flare is an intense burst of radiation, a magnetic storm on the sun's surface. Think of it as the flash from a cosmic cannon. This particular flare was an M-class event, strong enough to cause minor radio blackouts on Earth. But it also ejected a colossal wave of plasma and magnetic field called a coronal mass ejection, or CME. This CME wasn't aimed at Earth. Instead, it was launched in the general direction of 3i Atlas's position in space. It's as if the sun was firing back. This interaction, this call and response between an alien object and our star is unprecedented. It suggests that 3i Atlas isn't just a passive piece of rock, it has an electromagnetic influence that can actively trigger events on the surface of our sun. It's like a cosmic magnet pulling on the sun's volatile magnetic field lines until they snap. And you can see this everywhere if you know where to look in the declassified data streams. Now with this established connection, all eyes are turning to one specific date. October 21st. A path of destruction. On October 21st, something extraordinary will happen. 3i Atlas will reach a point in its orbit known as a superior conjunction. This isn't just fancy space talk. It means that the object, the sun, and the Earth will form a perfect straight line in space with the sun sitting directly in the middle. Think of it as a celestial bullseye with Earth as the target. The thing nobody tells you is how rare and potentially dangerous this kind of alignment with an active interstellar object is. We are in completely uncharted territory. This is the collision path that has insiders so worried. It's not a path of physical impact, but one of focused, concentrated energy. Our solar system is an empty space. It's filled with a constant stream of charged particles flowing from the sun, known as the solar wind. This wind flows along a massive rippling sheet of electrical current called the heliospheric current sheet. It's the electrical grid of our solar system. On October 21st, 3i Atlas, the Sun and Earth will all be perfectly aligned along this powerful cosmic structure. 
It's the equivalent of plugging a mysterious and powerful alien device directly into the solar system's main power outlet, with Earth on the other end of the wire. What could happen? The fear is that the combined gravitational and electromagnetic influence of 3I Atlas, amplified by this perfect alignment, could trigger a solar event far more powerful than the flare we already witnessed. A massive, Earth-directed CME. In this scenario, 3I Atlas acts as a trigger and the Sun acts as the weapon. The straight-line geometry means there would be nowhere for the blast to go but straight toward us. The journey for a CME from the Sun to Earth takes about one to three days. This gives us very little time to prepare for what could be a planet-altering event. Many people are crazy about the idea of alien visitors, but the real visitor might not be a ship, but a devastating wave of solar energy, all thanks to this cosmic alignment. The scale of this is mind-boggling. A powerful CME can carry the energy of billions of nuclear devices, a truly catastrophic amount of power. This isn't just speculation. History shows us what our sun is capable of, even without a mysterious interstellar trigger. The last time the sky burned. To understand the threat of October 21st, we have to look back to a time before our modern world of technology. In 1859, an English astronomer named Richard Carrington witnessed a brilliant white flash on the surface of the sun. Just 17 hours later, the most powerful geomagnetic storm in recorded history slammed into Earth. This became known as the Carrington Event. The most shocking fact is that its power was felt across the globe. Telegraph systems worldwide went haywire. Operators reported getting electrical shocks from their equipment and telegraph pylons threw sparks. Some systems even continued to send messages after being disconnected from their power supplies, running on the electrical charge in the air alone. You see, the sky itself lit up with auroras so bright that people in the Caribbean could read newspapers by their light at midnight. People in the Rocky Mountains thought it was morning and started making breakfast. To put it mildly, it was a global spectacle. But what would an event of that magnitude do to our world today? The thing nobody tells you is that our modern civilization is incredibly fragile. We are completely dependent on a delicate web of technology, power grids, satellites, GPS, banking systems, and the internet. A Carrington level event today would be a truly calamitous blow. It could cripple power grids for months or even years. It would fry the circuits of the thousands of satellites we rely on for communication and navigation, effectively sending us back to the dark ages in an instant. And you can see this everywhere this dependence. Every part of our lives is connected to this grid. Now consider that the Carrington event was just a random solar tantrum. It happened without any external trigger. The red alert for October 21st is based on the terrifying possibility of an event that is not random. It could be a targeted, focused blast of energy triggered by the alignment with 3I Atlas. What many overlooked about the Carrington event is that the sun is capable of producing super flares that are hundreds of times more powerful. Our star just hasn't happened to aim one at us in modern times. 3I Atlas could be the cosmic finger that pulls that trigger. So the question remains, are we watching a natural celestial event unfold or are we missing a crucial detail? The energetic impact. Many people watching this are probably wondering if this is true, why isn't it the number one headline on every news channel? The thing is, information like this is controlled. Panic is not something governments handle well, but the signs are there for those who look. The recent increase in solar activity, the strange data surrounding 3I Atlas, and the upcoming alignment on October 21st are all public record. The key is connecting the dots. Are we missing a crucial detail? Perhaps 3I Atlas isn't just a rock. Objects like Oumuamua and 3I Atlas challenge our understanding of what can travel between the stars. Could it be a piece of alien technology? Or is it a natural object whose properties are so strange they seem artificial to us? Let's be perfectly clear. This is not about a giant rock hitting the Earth. The chances of a physical impact are zero. The real threat is far more subtle and in many ways, far more dangerous. It's an energetic impact. It's the possibility that our own sun could be turned against us by a visitor from another star system. 
Does all this happen overnight? The alignment is a specific moment, but the effects could ripple out for days, weeks, or even years. If our power grid goes down, it's not a simple fix. It could take a decade and trillions of dollars to rebuild, all while society struggles to function without the electricity that powers our modern lives. The unvarnished truth, the one we whisper in the dark but refuse to acknowledge in the light of day, is that we are cosmic infants. We stumble through the vast, silent halls of the universe, mistaking our flickering candles of knowledge for a blazing sun. We have built our sandcastles of silicon and steel on the shore of an infinite ocean, and we celebrate our own cleverness, all while remaining blissfully, dangerously unaware of the tides. We know so little about the cosmos and the fundamental forces that govern its intricate, violent dance. The symphony of gravitational waves, the haunting mystery of dark energy, the very fabric of space-time, these are concepts we barely grasp, abstract equations on a whiteboard that fail to capture the terrifying reality of their power. Our gaze, so limited and so arrogant, is fixed outward. We watch the sky for the threats we understand, the ones our primitive fears can easily conceptualize. We scan the darkness for approaching rocks, for civilization-ending asteroids and comets. Our multi-billion dollar programs are designed to spot these celestial bullets and, we hope, to nudge them aside. It's a comforting narrative, one that casts us as the vigilant guardians of our world, protagonist in a grand cosmic drama. But it is a comforting lie. We are so busy looking for monsters in the distant shadows that we have failed to recognize the caged dragon in the center of our own room. Perhaps the real danger, the ultimate existential threat, has always been the star we placidly orbit every single day. A thermonuclear furnace of unimaginable power just waiting for the right push. It is a volatile god, our sun. We bask in its life-giving warmth, forgetting that its benevolence is a temporary state, not a promise. Beneath its serene golden face, it seethes and churns with a violence that would vaporize our planet in an instant if unleashed. We've seen its temper tantrums before. The Carrington event of 1859 was a mere cough, a warning shot across our technological bow that went largely unheeded. We have built our entire modern civilization on a delicate web of electronics, a global nervous system utterly defenseless against a true solar convulsion. And it seems a catalyst is now approaching. This October 21st, a precise and rare celestial alignment with the remnants of Comet 3i Atlas may very well be that push. The mainstream will tell you the comet disintegrated, that its debris is a harmless stream of dust and ice. They miss the point entirely. This isn't about a direct impact. It's about a subtle resonant interaction a gravitational magnetic frequency that will strike a core deep within the sun's core, disrupting the delicate balance that holds its fury in check. Think of it as a key turning in a lock, a final tumbler falling into place. This alignment is more than an astronomical curiosity. It's a moment of truth for our civilization. It is the ultimate test of our resilience against a cosmic threat that we are only just beginning to comprehend a force not from the cold void between the stars, but from the very heart of our own system. For generations, we have built our world under a stable sun, growing complacent in its life-giving glow. We saw it as a constant, a predictable engine in the sky. We were wrong. We are not prepared. Our most sophisticated plans are child's play. Our hardened defense is nothing more than paper shields against the coming thermonuclear storm. When that wave of supercharged plasma arrives, it will be an extinction-level event for our modern age. The satellites that form the backbone of global communication will be fried into useless debris. Power grids on every continent will overload and collapse, plunging the world into a darkness from which there is no quick recovery. The digital world, our economies, our knowledge, our connections, will simply cease to exist in a fraction of a second. Everything we have built, everything we are, is balanced on the knife's edge of solar stability. And that balance is about to be shattered. The clocks are all ticking in unison now, their beats across the globe counting down to a single, inevitable moment of impact. The final countdown has begun. The secrets of the cosmos are vast. Is the alignment with 3 I Atlas a random cosmic coincidence or a deliberate warning from the universe? Let us know your thoughts below.
like and subscribe for more truths.